All right, smart art zero one insert smart art. We have a cycle and it's a diverging radial. And so this is what you start off with, but what you want to understand about all the smart art uh, choices is you want to understand the pattern. So I'm clicking in the text pane here, which is turned on here, and I'm going to backspace all the way to the first one here. And I happen to know that this is going to end up being the middle. And when I press enter, look how I have the red X and it says, you know, this isn't happening. And what you have to do for this style is to click tab and that is going to, so I'm just going to say this is the second shape and enter third shape and so all you want to do is see what the possibilities are uh, just experiment around a little bit is there a limit does it just keep going and what happens if you press tab now and so in this style, when I press tab now, you can see that I actually got a bullet inside uh, the seventh circle. So go back and pick a different one and press enter and tab and just see that the same thing will happen in the fourth. You just get a bullet point in that circle. You can use the change colors uh, to get some different colors. You can also select one of the shapes, come up here to format and go into shape fill and uh, choose your color there. Uh, the arrows, you can select them and you can rotate them around this way and if you hold your shift key it will constrain to uh, jumps in other words let's see if we can just zoom in here so you can click here and you can go to rotate here and just flip it and that's probably just as easy but just to review if you have that and you use the rotate you can see you don't have a lot of precision but as soon as you press the shift key, it's going to jump in uh, little increments. And that's going to let you uh, get it exact. Except I'm just not being so exact right now. <laughs> let me try this again. I'm rotating. I press the shift key. You can see that is going in increments here and there we go but probably easier just to select it and flip it okay there's some bevels on here so again I I'm sure that we just played with this we would play with it um, up here shape effects we put a bevel on it, uh, some kind of 3D format. That looks pretty good there. And then we, I believe, came here to the styles. And now in here. To the 3D options and then we just played around with these settings to adjust them like the depth here that's one that when we start to increase that we will get different um, things and you can uh, follow what's there. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, this part is just playing around.